Again, here we are, we're going to continue with our parse um, single page application. And the next step to getting us started here is I want to add the reset style. So I'm going to go get that reset thing from Eric Meyer, right? So I'm going to do reset CSS, um, and I'm going to go to this guy, you know, Meyer.web. And he's got a link here. It says, you know, copy of the file. So I'll just click on that, and I'm going to save this into my folder here. Um, let's see, uh, where is it? I'm going to put it in my CSS folder here. Reset.css. And there we go, right? And uh, so I've got that. And you can just Google that. I just Googled, you know, reset dot or reset CSS, and you know, it came up with the right one. Or you can use your own reset. So, uh, what does the reset do for us? So, right now, you can see my page comes with these default styles, where you know, you know, the the UL and LI tags and paragraphs and things like that. They all get margin or padding or some combination of that, and you know, the bullet points and a bunch of extra stuff. The reset is really just going to remove that and try and make all the elements consistently have, you know, you know, essentially no style or very little style across all the browsers. So to use the reset style, what we'll do is we will go to our page here, and we're going to put the reset style first. So it's important that it goes before other styles because otherwise it would be resetting our style, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy my link here at the top of the page. <clears throat> and uh, what we'll do is we'll say style. I saved it in the CSS folder, so we'll say C CSS slash reset, okay, or reset.css. And there we go. So now let's refresh here. And there we go. So now my page is looking a lot better there. Not great, but, uh, you know, much improved. And uh, you'll see, like, when you add an H1, um, like if I click on, actually, you know, the H1, it's going to be underneath here right now. Um, I need to add some margin at the top to push it down. But uh, you'll see that the, um, that the, uh, that 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 like your h1s just look like regular text like they don't have any styles you'll need to style them after adding the reset right let's do this let's say um body and html let's add this in here right um both of these are going to be you know um height 100% and let me, let me show you one other thing. Since we're using the SCSS here, you'll notice sometimes you'll see this happen. Um, what if I do height 100% and then I say, um, you know, how about uh, margin top of, let's do a header height like that, right? And I'm going to save that. Actually, that didn't. I was hoping to cause an error. Let me do an error, right? What if I do this? If I save there. Um, oh, you'll see, yeah. Do you notice this error message showed up here? And so what's what this is telling me is it's saying like, hey, you know what? Uh, when we compiled this SCSS file, um, there was an error. And so it compiles when you save. So you can have as many errors as you like. You know, like you could do any you know, anything like that, and there's going to be no problem, right? You know, I could just start typing some random, you know, characters there, right? Um, you know, and there's no trouble. As soon as I save, though, so now I'll hit Command-S, now I get the error. Okay, so, you know, sometimes as you're typing, if you save in the middle of your typing, you know, the errors will start popping up and get in your way. Just be aware that... Uh, you know, every time you save, it's going to compile, and if there's an error, you know, for example, if you're not finished typing something, you know, there'll probably be an error, right? So, you know, just save off on, um, you know, saving until you've got everything written complete, right? So anyway, so I'll fix that, and maybe I want the margin at the top to be um, the height of, of the, you know, the header height, right? So I'll just put that variable here again. And now that I've saved, you can see, like, Koala's happy again, the error is gone, right? Um, and if you read, I, I, let me do this again too. Like if I, um, if I, you know, get rid of the dollar sign and I save, um, 
Actually, that time it didn't give me an error. Let me see if I can get another error going here. It seemed to work pretty good when I removed that uh, colon, right? Oh, yeah. So you'll see the error message here, and it tries to tell you where the error is. And you can see, I, I don't know if you can read that, but on mine I can read it says online 7 of, and then it shows me the path to this file. And so it can see that like line 7 has the problem. So, you know, if you really can't find the problem, read the error closely. Also note that in the CSS file, it will print the error in here too. So you can see it says invalid CSS, blah, 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 on line 7 of documents get garage sale, you know, style.scss, right? So it's showing me that the problems is here on line 7, and you can see the error. So, so anyway, so we'll go back here, and we'll fix it, save it, and then that should recompile everything. And when I go back to this file, you can see it's all back to normal again, right? So there we go, right? So that gets us started a little further along, um, and we'll, uh, well, we'll, we'll, I'll work on this in the next video, and we'll, we'll talk more about how this is going to work and what we're going to do with that. Okay. So anyway, thanks for watching, and I hope that's useful.